Hey Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum here inside John United Stadium following Towson women's lacrosse 13-10 win over the Yukon Huskies on Senior Day. Yukon on the attack, shot on and scored quickly by Crofts. One nothing Yukon with 28.59 to go. In front of Maldonado, shot on and scored. Caitlin Maldonado knocks it up to one. 27. Both four to go in the first half. And Maldonado on a one-timer attack. Inside the Farrow. Farrow is bit shot. Scores, Jaylene. That's how she did it against JMU. 23 24 to go in the first. Tigers lead 3 1. Sumante. Sumante splits two. Sumante in on goal. Cuts around. Shoots it and scores. Natalie Sumante, nifty pair of moves, puts the Tigers up. Four to two, 16 09 to go in the half, and the freshman dancing around the Husky defenders. Nolan down low to Tilly. Tilly in front, shoots and scores. We're tied at four with 12.55 to go in the first. UConn is definitely raking up the offensive possession time this half. They've been taking really long. Um, offensive. Crofts a shot in front, sorry Jaylene, to cut you off and UConn goes up to 6-4, to 9.27 to go. Takes it behind, now throws in front to Sumate. Sumate working for space, spin move in front, Sumate scoop shot and score, we're even at 6, 29.40 to go in the game. Natalie Sumate ties us up. They work at the Palmucci. In front for Catalano, battling, shot on and scores. 7-6, UConn, 24-49 to go in the game. Brookhart wrapping around, lobs a pass to Kerr, and Kerr a shot on and scores. And that's what I'm talking about a second ago, a great pass from Sam Brookhart leading to a Jenna Kerr goal, puts the Tigers up 8-7, 22-33 to go. Goes forward, she passes and set the Kerr, Kerr a faking goal. Caitlin Montalbano to Jenna Kerr for another Jenna Kerr goal, and it puts the Tigers up 9-7 with 17-17 to go in the game. Fazio's in, she gets it to Catalano. Catalano is shot, save Angie Benson, it rolls in. Benson made the initial save, and then it trickled in the lower. 9-8, 15-51 to go. Passes it to Farrow, Farrow spins and scores. Knee tried to toy with her, reached out to try to steal it. Farrow catches it, turns and shoots on the open net. 10-8, 14-22 to go. He's quickly upfield, Montalbano not slowing down, shoots and scores, Caitlin Montalbano. 11-8, 13-57 to go. Montalbano with a full head of steam, keeps it herself. Montalbano. Gets by Blaney. Montalbano in on goal, shoots and scores. Montalbano, her fourth of the day. 12-8, Tigers, 11.35 to go in the game. Under five minutes to go. Gillingham fouled, now she's going forward. He was out of the net trying to entice her, and Gillingham shoots and scores. She'll take that all day. 13-8, 4.42 to go in the game. Emily Gillingham scores her second of the day right on Jay Lee's cue. I think it's a really good confidence booster, and um, yeah, I think it focuses us on how great of a team we are, and um, yeah, we're really, we're all really excited for the uh, tournament play, and we're excited to get after it. I think the second half was more indicative of Tiger Lacrosse. We uh, refocused at halftime. Uh, I think we were just, we wanted it so bad that we were forcing things in the first half and making a lot of errors that we needed to really clean up. So um, that was kind of our our halftime talk and focus and we were able to really put together a solid second half we played more disciplined we still made a few errors here and there that's going to happen but um, offensively you know we we just played more patient took control and um, you know we we were able to pull out a, a nice win over a, a great team it's always good to go into conference play with um, a win behind you, a solid win. Um, we haven't looked ahead, we haven't talked about conference play as of yet because this was such an important game and we needed to really take care of business. Um, we could not overlook this team so we haven't talked at all about our upcoming CA championships. Obviously that'll be the big focus for us in the upcoming days here. Um, and. Uh, 
we'll um, yeah we're we're you know fighting for a, a conference championship. Uh, we want to be back on top, and um, we're going to have to overcome some great teams in order to do it. So we're looking forward to it. Sophomore Caitlin Montabano led the way for the Tigers with four goals and one assist in route to the victory. Next up for the Tigers, they'll prepare for the CAA tournament being played in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Tigers' first round opponent on May 6th is the Phoenix of Elon. That game will be available on TowsonTigers.com. Reporting for the Towson Sports Network, I'm Ben Rosenbaum.